What's up YouTube, it's Fitzbro, and today we are going to be going through a build order guide for Deutsche's Africa Core, also known as DAC, for Company of Heroes 3. Now if you haven't already, make sure you check out my faction overview on the channel. I also have guides for the US and the British forces, and next I'll be putting out a faction overview and build order guide for the Wehrmacht. So let's dig into this build order before we start. Down in the description, there's a link to my Discord where I will have this image uploaded in my Company of Heroes Guides channel. So join the Discord, come chat with all of our wonderful community members, and let me know what you think about this guide. And I always love testimonials, so let me know down in the comments if this worked for you, if you've got any fun variations on it, and hopefully you'll have some success winning with Dak. Let's get into this guide. So. The very first thing I will tell you the most important part about this is going to be the beginning stages of this opening. Honestly, I put together some very strong suggestions for the later part of this, but in most of my matchups, I find I'm typically adjusting to what the opponent's doing. And that's really part of Company Heroes 3. You shouldn't follow the exact same th thing every game. You're going to need to adjust your opponent, but you'll see uh, I'm going to actually play this exact build order against the hard AI, and you'll see that it, it works pretty well. Um, but the beginning stages is, is what you really will want to memorize. So the very first thing you'll want to train is going to be your motorcycle team. Now, this is very speedy, and what I use it is I go out and cap usually one of the victory points first on the farthest part point of the map and then i start pulling back and back capping or maybe i even disrupt and grab one of the opponent's territory you don't want to take any engagements with this bike it's very low hp very fast though so be careful you could accidentally fly to the enemy's line and lose your bike you're probably going to lose that at some point in the game it just typically happens uh but you can use it to capture your initial territory and then the back cap grab some stuff maybe go disrupt the opponent uh later but it, uh, it's not going to be really used for doing a whole lot of fighting it does give you a little extra line of sight when you're standing still so be be aware you can use it for a little bit of reconnaissance uh, after your motorcycle team, you're going to train a Panzer Pioneer Squad. Now, you're going to start with one of these, of course. And uh, a little pro tip, do not select your uh, battle group until after you've had this first unit come out. I found there's some kind of bug that if I start training this and then select my battle group, it will DQ this and it will really mess up your opening. And I've had it happen several times. So wait until you have this first one come out before you select that battle group at the beginning of the game. Now, your Panzer Pioneers, they're like your engineer unit. Remember, uh, for the Deutsches Africa Corps, these units, uh, all these can be used to repair your vehicle. So later on in the games, you'll be using them to repair your different vehicles. So it's so, so, so important to keep your infantry alive at all costs. Try not to lose any, which is a hard feat. Uh, the Panzer Pioneer, uh, you're going to be using this to capture your territory, of course. And what I'll usually do is send my first one and my second one of these out kind of maybe one's down the left or right side and then one's down the middle so that I can join up to gang up on the opponent if they show up. And then next, out comes my Pinsir Grenadier, going to be used to support these units in the territories they're capturing. Don't try to take the entire map at the beginning. Don't send one left, mid, and, and right. You're probably going to get outnumbered by the opponent, especially if they group up at all. I try to keep, you know, pick a two-thirds of the map that I want to control. Now your Panzer Pioneer, while you are capturing a point, always build a sandbag with the barbed wire in front of it inside the territory so that facing the enemy. So you can use that for cover. You want to fight with these guys in cover. So the opponent starts coming at you, stand behind cover and fight them. Do not rush them down. Especially watch out for those British uh, Royal Engineers. They've got submachine guns. You do not want them to close the gap with you or they will destroy your units. And in the worst case scenario, if you are going to lose engagement, they do get up on you, retreat back home, get out of there, don't sit there and take fight because it's going to cost you manpower to replenish those units. Okay, so it's going to be motorcycle, Pine, Panzer Pioneer Squad, Panzer Grenadier Squad. I've also played with just doing Panzer Pioneers since this is a little more expensive, but I found that adding the Panzer Grenadier kind of helps support, like I mentioned, I try to control two thirds of the map. I use this to really support these units and keep them alive against the opponent. So uh, that is, is a good way to do it. Once you have those units out, those four, you want to keep them alive. If, anybody, if the enemy has a machine gun emplacement, just run away from it. Don't go engage it. it you want to wait until you've got your next tier, you've got your flame uh, throwers. Just don't mess with machine guns for now. Uh, so you have your four initial units, and then you're going to tech up to tier one with the, uh, the light support company. 
Once you do that, what you're going to want to train is a machine gun and find a place where you can secure, uh, whether it's some ter- a, a command point or a, a resource choke point that opponent might be coming from. But a lot of times, I'll try to get some forward uh, reconnaissance with these units. See, kind of, okay, where is the opponent? Where are they going? Because you don't want your machine gun to get caught on their way there or out of position getting flanked. And a lot of times, I'll try to park them in a building in the middle map if it's possible. Once you get your machine gun team, by the way, you, you should have, if you macro this correctly, ex- just exactly enough to get this machine gun. Once you've finished c- building this, you want to build your medical truck. Remember for the Africa Corps, you don't have a, a medical tent back at your main base. You're going to use this medical truck and you're going to bring them to the front line, park them somewhere ideally behind your machine gun or something that you can pull your troops back after winning an engagement hopefully and heal up you want to try to keep your troops out on the field and you can turn on that uh replenish troops ability on your medical t- truck also if somehow you do lose your machine gun you can for just 50 manpower recrew that gun and then also you know heal them up stay next to it so that is a cool little option what you can do with that after the medical truck, you're going to want a second machine gun. You can either put them next to each other, kind of facing different directions-ish to get a like arc. I'll try to like carve out some line of sight on the opponent with the 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 gun or put it by one of the other cap points. Uh, but it kind of depends at this point. I might be adjusting depending on where the opponent might be. After that, you've got the options to do your call in. So that's going to be on the left side of your screen, which you'll see here when I do my demonstration game. Uh, these should be available at almost this exact time once you've made all of these. Uh, and the Panzer Jäger is going to be an anti tank infantry unit. So uh, very similar to the boys from the British. And it comes in a half track when it arrives. Now, that half track pretty vulnerable but it can get you some speed you can go take out an enemy scout car maybe they got a medical truck maybe they have uh some some light vehicles but it's a a good vehicle unit to get out and later on once you have the ammo don't spin it right away you can upgrade your panzer jaegers have a machine gun and you can just plant them on a spot to to hold some terri- territory not much unlike the machine gun it'll actually do a little bit of suppression too and then we get to the best part you are going to get the most overpowered unit in the entire game, the Gustatori. This is a call-in, and make sure you've selected your Italian infantry. This is going to cost two command points. So at just about this precise moment, you will have enough resources to call this in immediately. It costs, uh, I think it's 399 manpower, or it's 400, something like if you like that. Uh, and he comes in from your main base, by the way. And you want to uh, immediately it, use your 80 munitions to upgrade this bad boy to have a flamethrower. He's absolutely crazy. does so much damage. Um, you can use the smoke to move through. You get a speed boost when you go through. They have uh, res- uh, suppression resistance. They can also heal your vehicles. What can't they do? They are great. Um, so they make great pasta, too, I heard. Uh, so the gustatory. And at this point in the game, you're going to be in really good shape. You can make back-to-back, you can make two of these if you want. Uh, a lot of times I'll make one, and then maybe I have to, maybe I lose something, maybe I have to replenish something. Uh, and then I start thinking about going to the next tier. And really this is where you get to choose your own adventure, figure out what the opponent's doing, but I'll give you some suggestions. You can get to tier three, and if they've got a lot of infantry, go for the rad car, the armored car. It's going to be good anti-infantry support. If I'm playing against British they're going to have a lot of the boys, which we know are very, very strong against built vehicles. Now, I expect they're probably going to get nerfed, just like I think the Gustatori is probably going to get nerfed. So I'm not going to say, yeah, definitely build two, three, four Gustatori's. Build, build one, two if you want to. They're really good, but I expect they're going to get a little bit of a nerf. Uh, but if I'm against British, I might not build this. I might go for uh, maybe uh, another machine gun for some more suppression. I might go for uh, some other AT stuff. I think they might be bringing something out, but I, I typically don't rush down uh, the boys with uh, with armor. But you can use the rad car. Just make sure you're definitely supporting it with flamethrowers or something out in front. Otherwise, it'll get wrecked. Uh, and then from there, you can either you can th- just go for the reconnaissance truck, which can be used. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it can be used to call in airstrikes, which is pretty cool and give you recon on the map 
Uh, or you can go on up to tier three and start working towards that medium tank, your Panzer three. You could stay down here and you can go for that Stug assault uh, tank as well. Th that's why I mentioned there's a few things you can do. So once you get down to the tier three, it, the game should hopefully be in your hands. And I will tell you in my experience, the game is won or lost in most cases during the first five to 10 minutes. So what you do with these units is going to be the most important part of the game. My favorite battle group is going to be the Italian infantry every single time just because of this. Now, we might have some other build orders later on the channel, and you should subscribe if you haven't already, because you can go do a Burger Slayery build. This is quite fun. You can save up, stockpile, go for that Tiger tank in the later stages of the game. There's so many different possibilities of what you can do, uh, but this is going to be the standard build I would recommend you try out on the ladder. Now, I'm going to show you this in demonstration against the hard AI and show you it works pretty well. But make sure you pick this build up order up in my Discord, put it up on another screen, and give it a try. Let's get into trying this out, and I hope you enjoy this build order. Okay, here we go. Very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go out to get a half point, and I'm going to train up my motorcycle team. Now, on this map, I'm going to go for one of the uh, further cap points. I'm going to go for this one with my bike. Actually, I like to be pretty greedy. I'm going to go for my opponent's uh, cap point. This one's a little tricky. If you go right away, you can typically get it and queue up your Panzer Pioneer squad. Okay, don't forget to get that in queue. There we go. It's trained up. But now I'm going to grab my battle group just so I have it. Italian infantry. There's those Gusatori you're going to want here in a bit. And there we go. My bike is going out. I'm going to put them in a uh, control group just so I can make sure I don't lose them. And then I'm going to send uh, my Panzer Pioneers uh, up this left side. I'm actually going to grab this and then I'm going to get the star. Of course, there's many different ways you can, can capture territory. And the next one I'm going to get is the Panzer Grenadier. It's going to cost 300 manpower. Okay. There we go. We got a Panzer Pioneer. And there you go. There's a, 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 the enemy. And this is how about it always works. Make sure you uh, position your bike to escape because I don't want to take this fight. And there we go. There he's showing up, and cool. Now I'm going to back cap. This is perfect. Now you can go around them, try to take some of their ter territories or strategy, but you just want to start uh, ticking away at some of their points, which is a great way to start the game. There we go. I got my Panzer Grenadier squad in queue. Could have done it a little early if I want. Now, instead of sending him like out to the middle map to get territory, my goal with this Panzer Grenadier is to support this first uh, Panzer Pioneer. Now, I could have built sandbags here, but this is pretty close to my base. I'm not uh, wildly worried. I'm going to start heading out here, and I'm instead of going straight to the middle of the point, I'm going to just start behind this hay bale in the green cover to see his opponent there, because they are. I want to be in cover and be shooting at them, fighting them. And I'm not seeing them, so I'm going to come out here. I'm going to build my sandbag. Oh, there he is. And in this case, I'm just going to get immediately in cover. I'm not going to fight this. You take extended damage or more damage if you are in the process of building. So this is fine. Whatever. He can have that. I'm going to get the star. Now I'm doing my back capping with my motorcycle. And this is actually the biggest fuel point. So it kind of is cool to get the, the tin fuel first out here. So it's kind of nice. So you see, I'm going to take this engagement here. And I'm going to be, I should be able to win this fight. Now he is in cover. Now this might be a, a situation where I'm going to have to pull these guys back to home, which isn't going to be a big deal. It looks like he's brought, brought two trips, troops over here. So this might be a hard engagement to take. So I'm going to pull them back and I'm going to take the best I can in this engagement, but it's going to be pretty challenging until I get my machine guns up. Okay. But it's not a big deal. Okay. He's got two, he's got two infantries there fighting and not capping. Right. So it's not a big deal to me. Okay. I'm buying my time. I'm going to sit there. And I'm definitely going to retreat this here in a, a few seconds. I'll just go grab this in the meantime. Okay, and we are going to be teching up here very, very soon. Oh, I should have built a sandbag up here. So I could have taken, I could have been standing in cover taking that fight. For now, I'm just going to pull back to here so I'm in cover. Okay, we're continuing. Look, he's still got two uh, rifle squads distracted fighting this guy. And at this point, I'm going to pull him back and a little healing. He might get that star, but I've already got two stars. It's not a big deal. You're just kind of buying time because I'm going to be getting machine guns out soon. Okay, time to go for my next tier. And we're going ahead and getting that. There we go. And I'm going to bring those guys back home because I'm going to just group up and do an infantry surge here in a second. Okay, I got those points. Now I'm going to go cap towards the middle and try to back cap them a little bit, disrupt them. Okay, so I'm in uh, green cover, so I can take this fight with this scout squad. going to be just fine. I actually think I'm going to win this one, so this is going to be perfect. Here we go, our Panzer Grenadier squad. 
And I'm just going to move up. He's starting to, to move towards the middle of the map. And this bike can't really engage it. I'm just going to say, whatever, you do you. I'm going to go across the map. I'm going to have to keep an eye on him now. This is risky. I could lose him. And honestly, a lot of times you might end up losing him. It's not a, a huge deal, but just realize it, it definitely can happen. Okay. Especially going in that corner to be a little bit of scary. Okay, I'm up to the next tier. I'm going to go for my machine gun now. Machine gun team. And then I'll go for... A medical truck now i'm talking quite a bit uh, so i've done some of these actions a little slower than i would have liked to but ideally you can get those all out just in like perfectly clean order which is pretty great okay i'm gonna blob up towards this and he might have something there so we'll have to keep an eye out to see what's going on okay so he doesn't like that i'm back having him here he comes engage and i really you know what i'm not going to stay in and take that engagement i'm going to run away because even that small uh Small vehicle, that's going to do quite a bit of damage to me. Okay, the machine gun. Now, he's not here right now, so I'm going to try to get my machine gun in a point just like overlooking here, because he might come try to stop me from camping. And now I've got my med truck, and I'm going to bring him up here to do the healing in case I was you know, in engagement or whatever it might be. I'm even going to build myself uh, another sandbag here since we lost some of our cover in that engagement. Okay, so now I've got, what, three stars right now. I don't need to, like, send everybody here right now. I want to get set up, right? I want to get in place, get my machine gun in place, uh, and make sure I have map control, and then I will uh, and move out. And you see my motorcycle just going around, capping some points, doing some stuff. Okay. Now, you might be tempted to... Oh, hold on. Engagement. Okay, where's my machine gun? He's right there. I'm going to bring my machine gun actually up there. Oh, get back from the grenade. Oh, you really don't need those grenades. And I'm just going to pull back here. And I'll get a little healing going on. So that should be fine. Okay, got my second motorcycle. Now is in about a few seconds. You see how this, this timing works out? It's perfect. I'm going to be able to call in my Panzer Jaeger. Oh, I think I'm going to lose that bike now. I'll be shocked if he survives. But he's probably going down. Got myself a little sandbag. So I've got some cover. They don't cost any resources. We got them pinned down. Let's turn on our auto reinforce, and now I can call in my Panzer Jaeger. Let's go ahead and call that in. Ooh, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. That was close. And boom, boom, he's retreating. This is perfect. I can move up. He's going to get re, uh, replenished. Oh, man, I wasn't paying attention. You take more damage while you're building, so that... Oh, they were already kind of low on HP, but... Look at this. We're already just doing great. Haven't lost a single point yet. Now it's the AI. Uh, uh, you know, a human player is probably going to do a little bit better than this, but... You know, we're doing pretty good so far. I'm actually just going to move up towards middle, be a little greedy. Now, if this was British and they had the boys, I probably wouldn't be pushing this aggressively. And now, I kind of just want to get an arc on this quadrant of the map, right? Is what I'm, What is he doing? I think he chased me back home. LOL. The AI, huh? And now, as I have some extra time, I am going to... Oh, that's the wrong unit. I'm going to take my Panzer Grandier to get that. We've got this territory. You can actually cap territory with uh, since there is infantry inside of that. And now it is time to call on my Gustatori. You can see uh, I've got my two points. And if I hadn't actually done all this healing we've done here, I would have been able to call in this Gustatori right now. So it just kind of depends what's going on for you. I'm going to build another sandbag just because it looks like I might be pushing here. Um, and now th this is the upgrade I told you you can get later, the light machine gun. So you get, the, you get that for pins of Grenadier. You can also get it for your, uh, your Jaegers. Now yeah, those light machine guns. Those cost 100 munition. Okay. So I'm gonna just going to try to stop him from taking his points. I'm not really scared of what he's got going over there. And I'm saving up for that Gustatori. I'm actually going to stop uh, re auto-reinforcing because I really want to get these Gustatoris out. Now, what you can do is if... Perhaps you don't want to go for these these Jaeger right with uh, Panzer Jaeger. Maybe he doesn't have any like this is really good against vehicles, but he doesn't have any vehicles right now. You can s wait, save the res, and I would have been able to instantly call on this Gustatori, which I've done in cases. Oh, I ran over my barbed wire. Oh well. Uh, but that's just like a different way you do it because you want to get those out very quickly. I'm gonna be a little greedy right now. I'll bring him over here. Oh, oh, that's dead. Crap. And AI is not messing around here today. This is good. It's realistic. You're probably going to lose something. Try not to lose anything, but you might. And the cool thing is this med truck. Okay, he's camping. I'm going to bring him over, and I'm going to heal him up right now. But look at this this arc right now. He is not going to be advancing through any of this side of the map. I mean, I have to watch for a flank over there, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to grab my uh, flamethrower upgrade. Kind of fluted uh, ammo in this case. I could have uh, spent that in other ways, but... Uh, okay, he's back at home. Let's go ahead and I'll get a flamethrower upgrade for them too because I've got extra 
extra fuel. And the next upgrade I like to get is the territory booby traps. It's really cool. I'll show you that in a second. And uh, a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, I actually it was one of the later things I had to learn about uh, this faction. Okay, so he might try to flank my machine gun. You kind of want to just anticipate that. But not reinforce. Okay, here comes that gustatory. And I'm going to want to get to the breakthrough package here. I'm not in my own territory yet, but we will be in a second. They have submachine guns, by the way, so you want to close the gap uh, when you're using these. And I'm going to go out towards that cap point. I pretty much have this locked down right now. I'm not too worried about them pushing that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to wipe that. Oh, it might be able to. Boom, that's beautiful. This gives me a little extended line of sight, so if they come out here... Yeah, look at this. They're going to get wrecked. Okay, guess the Tori's moving up. And I'm going to get my, my uh, flamethrower. And in this, you can see, that, look how much fuel I have at this point. This is why I say like you can either keep making a Satori or go up to the next tier because you're going to have the fuel to do so. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to stop him down here. There's his AT. This is perfect. I'm going to run up on him. This is going fine. And I should be able to win this fight, especially if my flamethrower is done. Okay, I'm going to move up to here and get some healing. I'm going to stay there for now. So I lost a few points, right? It, but it's okay. Like, I really am controlling the map as I want. I Because of the early rush, I was able to get some points. So I'm not too concerned about it. Oh my gosh, I probably could have wiped... Oh! <laughs> I thought I was going to get... I could have maybe got him if I had tried that a little harder. Um, okay, now he's got a flamethrower too. I'm going to go up there and just do some back capping. Boom, you have control of that. We're up to our next tier. And now I can kind of decide what I want to do. I seem like running around with a lot of infantry. If I really anticipate a vehicle early or I see a vehicle, this is about the time of the game you often will see one if they're like trying to do some kind of vehicle rush. I'm going to pull that unit back, take a lot of damage. Uh, but I'm going to go for a rad car. Uh, that's going to be anti infantry. You can also go for a reconnaissance tractor, which is pretty cool. You can call on off map barrages. Uh, and the Marauder is quite effective AT. So machine guns, I like to plant them, then leave them. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to get the light machine gun upgrade I had told you about there for my uh, Panzer Jäger. And the flamethrowers actually do more damage if the opponent is in cover. So that's kind of a, a thing to know. Um, okay, so I'm going to get the territory to booby traps. And now look at this. I can build a booby trap. It costs 30 munition. And I can build this on my own points. You click on the point, he builds it, and the opponent walks up there. They're going to take tons of damage. Okay, there's his armored vehicle. But I've got my Panzer Jaeger, so that's going to take easy, easy, uh, make easy work of that thing. Look at that. Yeah, he's not good. It's, it's like the boys, right? They're not going to be able to deal with it. And I'm going to go ahead and just build booby trap while I'm chilling here. I try to just keep those munitions spent. And I'm going to chase a little bit. I also have my that machine gun up late. Great is done. Let's go ahead and flame them over there. And look at the fuel we have. Uh, 90 fuel right now. Where's our... There we go. I'm going to chase him now. And I see his bazooka is retreating, so I'm going to chase a little bit here. Because I know I can get away with it. Because you know like, that's going to be his anti-tank. Okay, very cool. Oh my gosh, going to kill it. I've been too crazy. So you can kind of push at this point, but don't push too far or you'll end up losing your vehicle. I'm going to pull back because I want to heal up. And uh, I'm going to go up here and take this point. Get a few more backpacking going here. Okay, and you could, if I felt like, okay, I just lost a fight, he's got a lot of armor uh, or something, you could go for the Marauder, you could start doing this if you wanted to try to shell the opponent, get some recon, but I am going to go up to the next tier, so I'm just going to save my resources. I feel like I have good map control. Maybe you want to add additional machine gun in right now. You know, th this is where there's there are a lot of options of what you can do. This fight's going to be fine. I'm just going to reverse a little bit so he doesn't throw a grenade on me. The rifle squad. Use that reverse. Don't let him get close. Boom. Easy. Oh, can I pick that up? Oh, I can. Uh, I've got a flamethrower, though. I don't think I want to switch weapons, so I'm going to keep with what i got here. And I'm going to go ahead and use that booby trap on all these territories as I take them. Especially the ones on your outskirts. The opponents usually like not paying attention. They're like taking one unit, and they'll hit those booby traps, and you know it can like wipe a whole squad, basically. So it's pretty cool. Okay, now I could call Gustatori in right now if I needed it, but feeling pretty good. Uh, we we've got good map control. Uh, I'm just going to wait for uh, our next tier. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get that. Let's get a rad car over here. Let's save his resources. 
Those late game tanks are particularly expensive, so it's okay if you want to float a little bit of resource right now, but, you know, only if you're in a commanding position, right? It'd be better be spinning this and controlling more ground than, uh, you know, uh, than just having it in the bank. Okay, and now I'm going to go up to the next tier. You know, imagine if I hadn't built this uh, rad car, you know, that would have saved me uh, uh, 40 fuel. We would have got their tier 3 to faster if you want to go straight to tier 3. Something you can consider. And I can use my Gustatori or my uh, Panzer Pioneer to repair this rad car, so I'm just going to kind of keep it back and kind of use it to protect. Uh-oh. Let me fall back. Oh, didn't pay attention. Okay, not a big deal. Again, Greyhound, not going to be a big deal because I have my Panzer Jäger. Boom, we're doing just fine over here. We're going up to our next tier. Now, I'm not really going to have the fuel to make something with that right away, but I'm just going to show you some of your options. If I had maybe made sure I didn't lose this or stuff, we'd be in a better spot to get this next tier of uh, stuff. Mm. I'm going to do one blast with my flamethrower, then we get out of here. I might lose that guy. Shoot. No! Okay, the AI is stupid, but I probably would have lost that if that was <laughs> an actual player. Okay, so now we're in our tier 3. Now, I can immediately call in the anti-tank gun team. Now, this is the heavy gun, gun emplacement, and you could set, like, right here on this map. It's going to, like, he's never going to come through here with the tank, or for a long time, as long as you keep it protected. So, you could do that. Um, and just for the sake of showing you guys, since I'm not close with the fuel right now, I'm going to call that in to show you that it looks like. Now, you can see these other call-ins. I could call in the Assault Mechanized Group if I want to. Another Panzer Jaeger. You can do the, uh, the Anti-Tank Gun if you get the Light uh, Mechanic Tactics Upgrade. And also the, uh, the Mechanized Group for the Light Carrier for the IG-18, which is a, you can shell the opponent. But uh, just some different options of what you can do. And then in your main base, you have to get like all the requisites. It's not easy, but once you get armored reserves, that's what unlocks and changes all these over to be, you can have the tiger, you can have the heavy tank and all those, let me know, in-game tank options um, at your disposal. So I'm gonna bring this up here and we should have that. And I'm gonna try to take this third star. And I'm gonna really try to get that. And since I'm gonna have be floating some uh, command points. I'm going to call in a second Gustatory. I typically run with Goose, two Gustatories uh, in many games. Oh my, he has a lot of troops here. I need to be careful in this engagement. These flamethrowers are like, look at this. He can like 2v1, guys. It's it's crazy. Oh, they're going to get close. They're so strong. And what I can do is like, okay, he's low on HP. I don't want to run all the way down. I'm just going to bring my med truck up to them. Okay, he's pushing mid now. He's got a Shafi. Sweet. Let's see. Uh, let's put our brand new tank to work. Our uh, anti. <laughs> see, I'm not even get to use it because the Panzer Jaeger does so much. Like, look how much just the Panzer Jaeger and the machine guns took on that Shafi. Pretty crazy. But this anti-tank gun team will as well. We healed him up now, and I can just continue wrecking the opponent with my Gustatory. Uh, I'm going to get more munitions. I'm going to take these points and set up some more booby traps. Okay, we're moving on up. Here we go, I should be able to get this third star. And a lot of times, honestly, like like I mentioned, like in the first 5-10 minutes, if you can just dominate these infantry battles, your opponent will resign uh, in, in many cases if they realize the amount of lead you're able to take. I'm just going to bring this back down. You know, leave these guns where they are and bring the meta truck to them uh, and heal them up. Like this is going to be protected right now. And I don't care so much about my ut utility trunk all the time. Sometimes I'll just like park it in a spot to scout. Like if I'm really worried I'm gonna get flanked here, I might just park it there. Like if it dies, I'm not like superly concerned about it. And uh, it'll give me some line of sight and prevent me from getting flanked. So sometimes I'll do that. Okay, so we're taking that munitions, getting that fuel point. Uh, let's get our troops from back home, bring them on up, and I'm just going to be super greedy, start taking some additional territory here. Now, uh, a lot of times you'll get hit by mortars when you're with these machine guns, so you'll just, like, bounce around from your different cover, build some different cover, keep moving uh, if the enemy has mortars. And if they invest in the mortars, that means they're going to be slower probably to push you because, uh, they, you know, they don't have an assault engineer or something like that. They've invested those resources in those, uh, those indirect fire. Look how much damage that does. <laughs> I mean, you might that might sound the AI being dumb, but like you'll do that to players all the time with these guys. They just look how much damage they do. They're such a mean. They're ridiculous. They do so much damage. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, and we are about at time. We can call in our uh, Panzer. There we go. Panzer 3 is going to come in. You can see we got all three points right now. And look, oh, they got an AT gun. Oh, not a big deal because I have what? I have two Gustatori. I've got my uh, Panzer Pioneer I've upgraded. And I can just rush them down in flames. Like, well, they, how are they going to stop me? They, they've got something else. I bring, you know, my, my rad car up to the party. Uh, you know, maybe I've made some other units, but... Um, now I've kind of ignored this, but really I don't use these all the time. Uh, I love this howitzer, so I'm going to show it to you. But I usually go for the hold the line and then propaganda war. Propaganda war is super cool. It drops leaflets and forces them to retreat. So say they're taking this point and you can't stop them, you can hit them with the propaganda war and it forces them to retreat all the way back home. Or if you're getting pushed by AT or something, uh, it's a really good way to, to protect your units. Okay, I'm going to fall back to my med truck. Doing just fine here. Here we go. And a victory. So, of course, this is in a sandbox, but overall, that's the idea of the build. It's really a guideline. Think of the beginning of that build or most importantly, and let me know what adjustments maybe you have for it. But uh, hopefully it helps you out on the ladder, and I hope you're enjoying playing Deutsches After Court. Check out my faction overview, having already, and you should subscribe to the channel for all of my Company of Heroes 3 content. And you can catch me live on the live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Fitzbro. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Just passive increases the penetration of all your vehicles. You can do a Stuka dive bomb, uh, which is very, very uh, targeted. So let's do it. Let's do it here. So you can see, you can see a little bit of carnage there. There's going to come the Stuka dive bomb. You can do an anti-tank loiter. This is amazing. Two Stukas are going to watch in the area, and if they... Oh my God. You believe me yet? <laughs> this is so good. The Stuka dive bomb. Um, Anti-tank loiter will basically look... Uh, you designate an area, and it will circle on the mini-map, you can see, and take out any tanks that run within that area. Now, they can get shot down by AA, so just be aware of that. But it's going to be super massive, especially in team games, can be really good where you have a lot of armor going against. Vehicle awareness is going to enable vehicles to utilize vehicle awareness ability. And it's going to be passive. Uh, you can get a flam panzer, uh, medium tanks, we'll call that in. That's going to be a flame tank. Uh, superior fire drills is going to improve the performance of your machine guns, essentially, for all of them. This one's very interesting. Salvage kits enables your pioneer, Panzer Pioneers or Panzer Grenadiers to use the rapid salvage ability. So, so now if we go to, to our uh, Pioneer or Grenadier, you can go up here and you can savage a wreck for fuel. So if you've burnt out a vehicle or lost a vehicle, you can get some of that resources back and help boost all these other crazy vehicles you're going to be calling in on the game. Panzer Storm, going to increase the speed of all the infantry and give them immunity. It's going to be... Uh, to engine criticals when active. So it's going to be a timed uh, attack. And then lastly, Battlefield Savage. Uh, salvage. Enemy vehicles that are destroyed by affected units grant a manpower and fuel. Pretty amazing, right? All of the three of these battle groups are amazing. Let me know down in the comments which battle group you're going to choose. And with that, that is going to be all of the units, guides, uh, yeah, units, buildings, upgrades battle groups for deutsches africa core i hope you enjoyed this faction overview leave me a comment below if you did and take a second maybe subscribe to the channel and you can catch me playing this faction live on twitch.tv slash fitzbro where i'll be working on putting together a build order guide for you so be on the lookout for that next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one